Okay, so I'm going to going to give you a quick introduction to uh, the new Apple Yosemite uh, operating system. So you see the the look and feel isn't isn't that much different, but uh, it's actually quite subtle the the new changes, uh, and I think it's starting to look more like Windows, uh, and we're seeing a, a general fusion ar around going for a very flat design with the, the with the user interface. So I must say that I, I use uh, Windows mainly and uh, because Visual Studio doesn't run on on Apple uh, systems so I, I virtualize using VMware Fusion and, and it works extremely well. Uh, obviously you, you need to make sure that you have good processor, good memory and good disk space for that to actually happen. But uh, VMware Fusion works works very well with with Windows, and uh, is is uh, is excellent for its its virtualization of of Windows. Okay, so you can see we have a tidier interface in terms of uh, of Yosemite. Uh, the icons up here are generally smaller than the they used to be, so there's a bit more space up at the top there and they're, they're pretty obvious the, the icons so one of the best features in in Mac is this energy consumption and it's here you can actually find uh, the applications which are draining your battery greatly uh, and you can go ahead and actually delete them if, if, you, if you want so you can see that VMware Fusion is eating up a lot of my, my battery here uh, with the other ones uh, or not along with that you can actually quickly look at your memory, your CPU and your network uh, activity. Okay so that's that's not a, a new feature but it's uh, still there from uh, from before. Okay so it's much much flatter uh, we have a better uh, notification bar now uh, that we can actually add to and you can put your own apps there just like you could in, in Windows uh, Seven that a few people actually used, so you can you can add your apps and there and put in your calendar and and so on. And we have our LinkedIn integration uh, and so on. Okay, so I'll just put that away. Okay, so the first thing you'll really notice is that uh, the the windows have have changed slightly. So at the top, our our main sort of navigation for the for the windows uh, the the icons have actually changed so that we now have uh, our expand with the green the green button that we have there So th those are our, we can minimize and then we can delete the window from from here. Okay, so not not too much has has changed there. We can actually see that the the bar at the bottom is actually transparent, depending on on the window that that we have. It has a good uh, look and feel for the icons at, at the bottom there. We should find one of the 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 major changes is around Safari so you can see that Apple are really trying to focus on on getting uh, some advantage in terms of the the usability of the Apple apps okay so the great thing with uh, with Safari is that we can obviously zoom with it much more effectively than than we can with uh, with our other applications that, th that we have and obviously there's there's great this great deal of usage of the of the scroll that we have through the, the Apple keypad uh, but that's certainly a, a a major advantage we can we also have our our social media and things at the side here now with with Savari, Savari much more than we've had before 
And I think the the download looks looks a bit more obvious. Here is our is our downloads that we actually have, so we can invoke that quite easily. And everything else is really much the much the same. So again, a flatter flatter look to the to the menu bars. Many of the changes with the Yosemite are actually focused on integrating with the iPhone, uh, and it's obvious the way that Apple really want the users to go is to be able to seamlessly integrate their iPhone with their Mac desktop. I don't have a uh, an iPhone, so uh, many of the new features aren't really relevant uh, for me. But uh, one major change is the integration with the iCloud. So obviously, uh, Apple want to be able to uh, integrate documents across the different devices. So you actually find that uh, the iCloud Dropbox area, is I iCloud Drive, is is highlighted and is part of the uh, of the Finder uh, application. So more and more you'll find that uh, iCloud integrates seamlessly into the background for many of the applications. One of the biggest changes is towards the uh, the actual the, the search uh, feature. Okay, the spotlight. So uh, this seems to have disconnected itself from up here which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but you should find that it is much easier to use and once your machine is archived then it will effectively can effectively do a, a deep inspection for your for your documents and you can obviously set it up to look for different uh, types of uh, of documents uh, uh, with, with within it especially looking at email and, and some Okay, so that's that's just a, a general quick look around Yosemite. It's not changed too much, but generally the, the look and feel is is, is much better. Uh, there's a great deal happening around the iCloud, and especially in in, in how you can transfer documents between uh, different systems. So Dropbox is is obviously one of the uh, the the contenders here, and that many people still use uh, Dropbox. So it's yet to be seen whether uh, the iCloud Drive will actually replace uh, Dropbox-type applications.